love yourself a good watch. I know you guys have heard me talk about JBW before. Here I'm wearing the JBW Mink watch which has 12 real diamonds, 284 Swarovski crystals, it shines from every angle and wraps your wrist in endless shine. For me, I can't leave my house without a nice timepiece on my wrist because it just brings the whole look together. I am so obsessed with the sleek look of this watch. I love that it has a rectangular shaped face and I honestly love more than anything that it literally complements any outfit that you put on. You can style it with a lovely date night look, your classic black dress, and I draped my black coat over my shoulders for a full black look and added a nice touch of a bling. As you can see, the watch here is a statement piece. You can definitely pair your timepiece with a business attire to elevate your overall look. And if you want to spice up your laid back fit, throw on your luxury watch and we'll call it a day. Hands down, I really gotta give it to JBW for having such beautiful luxury diamond watches at such an affordable price. They have quite a few designs and different styles for you to choose from that'll best suit your personal style. So be sure to use my code Tamara30 right here for $30 off your entire purchase. Both my link and code will be listed in the description box. So check that out and happy shopping. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Tamara Renee. Thanks for stopping by. So as you can see by the title of today's video, I am giving you guys a full face beat without eyeshadow. One of my subbies, her name is Michelle White. Hey girl. Um, she asked if I can do um, this type of makeup tutorials. I was like, of course. This is, you know, like my type of makeup look. I don't always wear eyeshadow. I prefer to, you know, to have like a natural beaded face and, you know, call it a day. Um, I really love it. Tell me what you guys think. All details will be in the description box below, so do check that out. So if you're interested in seeing how I achieved this look, then keep on watching. You guys, please don't mind my voice. I woke up yesterday morning with like a little crack, you know, my throat. Um, I didn't think nothing of it. I thought, you know, I'd sound better today because I had, you know, planned on recording today, which I'm doing right now. But I woke up this morning and it sounds worse than it did yesterday. So, you see, I'm quite annoyed because I need my voice, you know. But I'm still going to record today because, you know, we move, work still got to get done. So, we're just going to get started. We're going to get right into it. So, today we're doing um, a full face beat with no eyeshadow. I'm going to start off with priming my face, of course. I'm obsessed with this primer, by the way. So I'm proud of my face. As I said in my last video, I got some new goodies from Sephora. So I'm gonna be using these new products that I purchased in today's video. Um, so the first thing that we're gonna start off with is this foundation. This is from Bobbi Brown and I'm in the shade Warm Almond. This is their Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation. I'm gonna put this on. This foundation is extremely lightweight. 
So if you're looking for a nice lightweight foundation, I would highly recommend this one here from Bobbi Brown. But I, I like it so far. You know, it's really skin-like. So that's a plus. Okay, so moving on, I'm gonna go ahead and put some concealer on my lids. Um, Too Faced in the shade Butterscotch. Going in with this Japanese brush, this is 726. I'm just gonna blend this out. Setting with my Laura Mercier Honey Powder with this Real Techniques setting brush. So I had to adjust something on my camera because something was looking a bit off, but we good now. So I'm going to go ahead with the same concealer and apply that under my eyes. Now I could have done, you know, all of this while I was doing my eyes with the concealer, but I chose not to because, um, especially like under my eyes, I crease like really quickly. So as soon as I blend this concealer out, I just wanna go ahead right away and bake, opposed to, you know, going back and forth with blending and applying concealer if I need to. Um, I'd just rather work in like sections than to do it all, all in one and then struggle. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna let this dry down a bit and while it's drying, I like to prepare my powders. Um, I also got this Huda Beauty um, Easy Bake Loose Powder in the shade Blondie. So I'm gonna open this up and that's what I'm gonna use um, today to set my under eyes and you know, everywhere else that I highlight. So you can definitely just do one um, concealer, but this is a full face beat. Um, and plus I want that extra pop under my eyes, so I'm gonna apply Warm Sand, also from Too Faced, under my eyes. I just want my voice back. Really and truly, I would like my voice back. Mm -hmm. So I really love how this powder just like melts into the concealer and into my skin. This is so flawless. This powder, this Huda Beauty powder, is giving me airbrushed, flawless vibes. Wow, I'm impressed. I mean, I've heard good things about it, but I didn't really care to get it. But um, I'm, I'm glad I got it, you know? Because I'm loving it, I really am.
Okay, so to set the rest of my face, you guys know I have to go with my favorite, the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the shade Mahogany. So now I'm going to go in with my Morphe Trailblazer Bronzer to warm my face back up because we're looking a bit pale. Okay, so you guys know how much I love format from MAC, that blush, but I finally got my hands on a new blush from NARS in the shade Orgasm. I remember being on the hunt, you know, for a nice blush, and a few of you recommended this shade to me, but I didn't go with it, but finally got it. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this on my cheeks. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, these really warmed up my cheeks. <laughs> I'm gonna add just a tad bit of highlighter using my Artist Couture Diamond Lux Luminizer um, in Honey Trip. Just a little bit on my nose. I don't think I'm gonna apply any on my cheeks today. Should I add some on the cheeks? I don't know what to do. Just a little. I don't know if that made a difference, but that's all I'm gonna do. <laughs> that's it. All right, so I brought you guys in closer. I'm gonna go ahead and use my e.l.f. liquid eyeliner to do my wing. Okay, so for my waterline, I'll be going in with this 
eyeliner right here. This is from a brand called Very V E R R I. Lately, quite a few of you have been asking me where I purchased this eyeliner, and I actually got it from a cosmetics warehouse. Um, I tried searching, and I have not found this exact one. I found different ones, but I don't know how those ones work. But um, I mean, once this is done, I'll be moving on to something else. I love these lashes. I got them from Amazon. I think these are 20 mm. I don't know, but I got in a pack of five. And this is one of them, but I will link it below. Like they're so natural looking. I wore them before and I did apply mascara on them because they were a bit too light looking for me. And I wanted it to be a lot more darker. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with my KKW Nude 3 pencil. So I'm going to apply just a tad bit of my Huda Beauty Board Meeting Lipstick. So I'm going to top this off with my Fenty Glow Gloss Balm. And this is the look. Alright you guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really love how everything turned out. This is like my type of makeup look, like an everyday makeup look without any eyeshadow. But you know, I want to keep it subtle, keep it neutral, but still want to, you know, look snatched in the face. But um, yeah, I really like how it turned out. Tell me what you guys think. All details will be in the description box below, so do check that out. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, don't forget to enter the giveaway if you haven't done so already. In my previous video, I have all the giveaway rules, so you can check that out as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!